Good afternoon. I am Priya Sital from Suriname. I have also a question. Convergence for me is to grow together as one strong region. I believe that there is a lot of people, especially young people, who are very innovative and have ideas and the will to be an entrepreneurship, to be their own boss and to create jobs for other as reduction of unemployment. If you look at the biggest threats then, uh, in the world, then we see that unemployment is one, is on the second place. This, is, this has also consequences just, such as crime. Forgive me if my English is not so good because my language is Dutch. We are aware of uh, this situation. I guess everyone will agree with me if I say we have to stimulate young entrepreneurship. But still, we see that in the region, we are not doing enough to encourage this. My question is, what is the biggest obstacle or what stops us? What can we do together as a region to overbridge this? And how can we exchange the knowledge that each country or each Caribbean country has in-house to stimulate each other and push, push each other to the same level? Thank Th you. Thank you. Uh, I would like, if it's possible, in Inder, and then Dr. Jules, if you can tackle this uh, for us. Inder? Sure. <coughs> I, I, I found that point that was raised that growth should be inclusive. Uh, should be pro-poor, pro-youth, to be a very, very important point. But let me ask you this following question. Because one of the characteristics that unifies the Caribbean is, is the total lack of normal data to measure these things. There was a session yesterday on this topic. The only, for example, we, we, try, we are trying to do exactly that, to measure how adequately pro-poor is economic growth in the Caribbean. It's only one country that publishes data and allows us to calculate that. One country in the uh, Caribbean. There's something wrong there. Uh, the second point I, I would like to make was about this thing of pro-youth. There is a, a growing problem that growth is not enough. The reduction of unemployment and underemployment of the youth for each one percentage growth, economic growth, has less and less impact on youth unemployment. That means that this is not a, economic growth in itself would be insufficient to tackle the problem of youth underemployment. And, and the third point I would like to make is a policy one. I, I ask you, if I go to a country and I see that the government's policy involves 7% of GDP as tax breaks to firms, that I only see that 0.5% is dedicated to the poor, and there is insignificant percentage of GDP for programs for the youth. Tell me, is there something wrong? And that, that is a real policy dilemma. So it's very easy to say we should have pro growth, but I think we need to insist that governments publish data to show how inadequate is economic growth both in terms of it being pro-poor or pro-youth, and what would be required, particularly programs to promote entrepreneurship amongst the youth. That's my Miguel, if I can help you out here, because we're on the floor, and you, we, we have an issue of time one, but also we also have a mandate, and have a mandate to facilitate as much uh, interaction and uh, discussion from the floor. But we are going to be constrained by time, um, and again, I'm going to urge everyone to use the mechanism of submitting your comments and your questions. But I would like to really 
not apologize, but indicate that we are going to make this concerted effort to interface with the experts or the lead persons on the podium, but facilitate as much as possible the discussion from the floor. So I can ask you to wrap this panel by thanking your, your speakers, and then I will give an indication of what will be taking place uh, right after lunch or where we need to go from here. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Well, obviously, just the game that, uh, first of all, thank you. This was a wonderful, interesting uh, perspective. We have the macro, the mi micro. And uh, how can I tell you? you know, thank you very much for, for being here. Uh, each one of you making an, an amazing contribution. I think that we'll have a clear agenda. And action number 12 is let's have a very clear, regional, progressive youth development agenda for the Caribbean. Thank you very much. Okay, there were a number of hands that were up particularly to interface directly. Maybe you have, you have burning suggestions, ideas, and even challenges to some of the things that were said in this last panel. I know particularly from being on the floor that people are, are very, very, they are very strong questions. I know that there were questions for, for David and for um, Ian in particular in terms of access to investment, uh, promoting, promoting social entrepreneurship, uh, lending systems. Can we get all of that content now to come in and as has been assured by the organizers that all of these things are going to be going into an interface with all of the persons who were invited to be lead discussants. I mean, that's the compromise. We are being disruptive, but in being disruptive, we can't let the thing go all over the map. We have to try to begin to manage things and even manage these inputs. So it's all taken in good stride. Let's use the mechanism for putting forward the information to go into this uh, ongoing discussion and dialogue because we won't get 50 and 60 people to make an active contribution in one session. Um, disruptive, but let's also be thoughtful in the way in which we collate some of the information, some of the suggestions, some of the positions. I have to keep reinforcing that because I know that people feel very strongly about being able to say their piece in any particular forum on any particular subject that's being presented in any one of the sessions. Do we have agreement on that? If, do we, we not have agreement on that? Well, if we don't have agreement on that, I want a better suggestion before we break for lunch. The minister is here, the organizers are here. If we do not have an agreement of trying to deal with a body of information, of sentiment, of suggestions, of analysis, of positions, if we can't even get disruptive about how we do it, apart from raising our hands and saying, I want to speak for three minutes, then really, you know, where, where are we going to go? Okay. Okay, point taken. So the organizers, we will go to lunch and we will look, rethink or relook the, but there's a lot of content. And I don't know that people have spoken on each panel. This panel was very tight in terms of the, the actual people. Okay, so here's what. Here's what. We're breaking on time. We are reconvening promptly at two o'clock. Promptly. And I will give the undertaking, as just the person helping with the moderating and facilitating, that we will look at the other two or three sessions that we have, and definitely for tomorrow, to see where there will be more brief presentations or key areas to allow for more interaction. But please use your influence, your, put your pen to paper, your computers, and send these positions in so that they be part of the conversation.